So the Liberal Arts Programme was designed in order to find students who use the same subjects, they could develop skills across them and work in a, in a, in a better fashion. So do one piece of work in one subject and then possibly tweak it, submit it, but those skills will be transferable. Liberal Arts compared to Level 1 and 2 for me, uh, the major difference has been the flexibility and the enhanced communication I have with my teachers. For me, as someone who is very much about the arts, it has been fantastic. I found it to be a lot more collaborative and everything I'm learning in my individual subjects I'm able to really easily and really quickly apply to all of my other standards and all of my other internals. We found that um, Angus is far more motivated than he had been and this just gave him motivation because it was something fresh, it was coming from a different perspective and the results are showing. Content crossover has helped. It's kind of eased the load a bit because in English you have to watch a movie but when you're watching a media you kind of get the media standpoint on it so you get a much richer understanding. You're enabling three different voices from teachers and three different perspectives to give them something to help enrich one thing. The difference between a silo subject kind of approach that we've had before and, and the liberal arts is the way they approach education. I think they see the value and how everything works together, they spiral together. The critical thinking and the fluid intelligence that liberal arts promotes is, is absolutely vital in, in whatever job you may do. You, know, you may be business oriented, you may be going into to entrepreneurial work, but if you cannot think, you cannot succeed.